I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Come, everyone, let us feel his loving presence. Come and worship the Holy One with praises and reverence. If we call to Him, He will answer us. If we run to Him, He will run to us. If we lift our hands, He will lift us up. Come now praise His name, all the saints of God. Oh, sing for joy to God our strength. Oh, sing. If we rend our hearts, He will heal our land. Yes, He will. Oh, sing for joy to God our strength. Oh, sing for joy to God our strength, our strength. If we Yeah. 
Pastors Appreciation Sunday to all our beloved pastors and their families. Let us now greet all those who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries this week. For today, October 11, Andrew Jerome Ebol. On October 12, Marilou Ruiz. On October 15, Angelica Munda. October 16, Selovic Laroda and Renzo Miguel Guapeza. On October 17, Regina Antiquiera, Jamer de Jesus, and John Micah Balala. Celebrating their wedding anniversary today are Pastor Roger and Sister Gemma Flores. On the 14th, Brother Rene and Sister Miriam Romualdo. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you and we thank you for the lives of our brothers and sisters who are celebrating their birthdays this week. May they always feel your loving presence in their lives. May they be a blessing to the people around them as we lift them up to you. May they receive your guidance so that they know your purpose for them in life. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you grant them strength and wisdom to make good and sound decisions and glorify your kingdom always for those who celebrate their anniversaries may you bless them with more years ahead may they serve you together and honor you with their love may you help them grow spiritually through your word all this we ask in jesus name amen Happy birthday and happy wedding anniversary. God bless you all. Teacher Gina. Oh, let's also greet Liam Mendiola, youngest son of Brother Gino and Sister Lara. Liam celebrated his birthday last Friday, October 9. Don't forget to greet and send our well wishes and prayers to all our brothers and sisters celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversary this week. You're worshiping with us, the International Evangelical Church of Alabang, Aika. Welcome to all icons worshiping online from Las Piñas, Paranaque, Muntinlupa, Cavite, Laguna, Makati, Manila, Quezon City, and also to all our first-time worshipers. Today, we're honoring our pastors. And because it's a special day today, may we invite you all to stay online after the worship service for our pastors' appreciation virtual fellowship. Together, Let's honor the man of God in his journey for the Lord. Sama-sama po tayo. Remember, ako ay kabahagi. Come join me in prayer. Almighty God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we thank you for this day. Thank you for blessing us as we celebrate Pastor's Appreciation Sunday and honor the men and women you have anointed as our under-shepherds. Heavenly Father, so many pastors and preachers are drifting away from the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Many of them are choosing to serve men instead of you. But we thank you for the pastors you have given us, for they remain to be genuinely faithful to their calling, each determined to preach Christ Jesus all the days of their lives. 
Help them, Lord, to remain faithful to their God-ordained calling. If there's anyone who may be trying to lead them astray, we humbly ask you to remove that person. Expose every lie of the enemy against our pastors and protect them from every manner of evil. Father, you know the desires of their hearts. Fulfill them according to your will. When the enemy attacks our pastors, he uses their family and friends. For this reason, Lord, we pray that the family and friends of our dear pastors be a source of peace and harmony. May they be a blessing to our pastors. May our pastors find favor with their wives, their children, friends, and the church in general. Continue to give our pastors wisdom and knowledge on how to take good care of their loved ones, especially when their pastoral schedules are tight. Remind them that family is their first ministry. Many are the afflictions of our pastors, Lord, but you always deliver them from these illnesses. Thank you for the incredible power that is working within your under-shepherds to transform lives. You deliver people from captivity through them. May you supply all our beloved pastor's needs according to your glorious riches. May our pastors always remember that you care about them. Grant them everything they need that they may have plenty left over to share with others. Keep our pastors from depression and sadness generated by our current situation. Inject them with joy peace and wisdom, that they may have sound minds and a clearer understanding of your word. We also lift up our hum- in humble prayer our guest preacher, who himself is a man of God. Speak through him your mighty word, pierce our hearts and minds with conviction, to honor and support our pastors. May it is you we hear reminding and exhorting and encouraging us. In Jesus' name we pray. This is my journey, like Israel, oh, I travel through the wilderness, so far away from home, though dangers surround me, though the night is long. The Lord is my light, my beacon and guide, my strength and my song. And I will be strong, I will walk and pray, with the Lord as my companion, every step along the way, that I will be. Oh, 
Our scripture reading for this morning is found in 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 17, and also in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 27 to 31a. Please open your Bibles in 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 17, and in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 27 to 31a. I will read the English Standard Version of the Bible. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 17 Let the elders who rule well be considered worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in preaching and teaching. First Corinthians chapter 12, verses 27 to 31a now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. And God has appointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, helping, administrating, and various kinds of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work miracles? Do all possess gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? But earnestly desire the higher gifts. May the Lord bless us all upon the reading of His Holy Word. Good morning! Our guest preacher for this Pastor's Appreciation Sunday is a pastor himself. Actually, he is a retired bishop of the United Methodist Church. Before his election as bishop in 1994, he worked as translations consultant in Thailand for two years. He also worked as translations consultant in Indonesia for 13 years and as a regional translations coordinator in the Asia-Pacific for 13 years. After his retirement as a bishop, he joined the faculty of Duke's School of Divinities where he studied. 
he received his Ph.D. degree in Biblical Studies from Duke University. Presently, he is a Translations Consultant with the Philippine Bible Society, and one of his most recent projects with them is his involvement in the translation of the Pinoy Old Testament. His achievements would not be made possible if not for God's grace and his ex-girlfriend, his wife for more than 50 years now, Mom Ruth. Brothers and sisters in Christ, join me in hearing God's messenger of His Word for this Pastor's Appreciation Sunday, Dr. Daniel C. Arichea Jr. Congratulations to you as a church for having this special Sunday to appreciate your pastors. When I accepted this invitation, I was also reminded of my call to ministry. Uh, briefly, uh, wala naman akong balak na magpastor eh. Gusto kong magabugado. Uh, pero one Sunday, Union Theological Seminary Sunday sa aming church. Ibay dumating na professor na nag-preach para sa amin. So, ngayon, the moment he started uh, speaking, nagalit na ako sa kanya. Dahil everything he said was about me. So, so the more he spoke, the more angry I became. Uh, gusto ko siyang patuhin sana, pero... Biblia naman yung nasa harapan ko. Sa kaimnaryo, hindi naman pwedeng iba to sa kanya. I keep mumbling, stop. Stop meddling with my life. So, sa, sa katapusan na sermon niya, nag-anyaya siya. Sabi niya, if there are any of you young people who consider full-time ministry as a vocation, will you, will you please stand up and come to the altar? And to my surprise, probably dahil sa galit ko, tumayo ako. Um, tinitignan ako ng kongregasyon. So I walked to the front uh, and knelt at the altar. Then I heard footsteps. The whole congregation had reason to, to affirm me, uh, to join me in this decision I just made to become a pastor. Uh, and then someone knelt beside me and took my hand. It was my own mother affirming the decision that I made. Uh, and so, katulad na sasabihin natin, the rest is history. Sa paghanda ko itong sermon na ito, may mga talata sa Biblia na nag exhort sa mga pastor, mga preachers. Halimbawa, Isaiah 57.7 Ang gandang makita sa mga bundok ang mga paa ng nagdadala ng magandang balita. nag announce ng peace, may dalang balitang maganda. At nag announce ng pagliligtas. Ang nagsasabi sa Jerusalem, nagkahari ang iyong Diyos. Kaya ay 1 Timothy 5.17 Yung mga leaders ng naglilig na maayos dapat i-appreciate nyo at bigyan ng tamang suporta lalo na yung nagtatrabaho ng mabuti sa pag-preach at sa pagtuturo. Uh, so in honoring your pastors I suggest that you start with some important biblical assumptions and ideas. The first assumption is that all of us are called to serve the Lord and to serve the church. Hindi lamang mga pastor ang called. Lahat tayo ay called to serve the Lord and to serve the church. Ephesians 4, seven is very clear. Let me quote it from the Good News Translation. Each one of us has received a special gift in proportion to what Christ has given. 
sa Pinoy itong mababasa natin. Pero bawat isa sa atin ay binigyan ng special gift depende sa gustong ibigay ni Kristo. Anong ibig sabihin ng gift dito? It refers to a spiritual gift. Isang gift na nagmumula sa Holy Spirit at binibigay sa bawat believer upang ang believer ay makapaglingkod kay Kristo at sa kanyang iglesia na gamit niya ang special gift na ibinigay sa kanya. Yung mga gifts na yun ay tinatawag na spiritual gifts. That is talents and abilities na binibigay ng God Spirit sa bawat believer so that all of us believers can serve the Lord and serve one another primarily through these gifts that we receive from the Spirit of God. Maraming mga biblical references tungkol sa mga spiritual gifts na ito. Uh, sabihin ko lang sa inyo at siguro punta kayo sa inyong Biblia at basahin ninyo. 1 Corinthians 12, 4 to 11. No. Uh, sumunod, Ephesians 4, 11 uh, and 12. Ito, may silang ito kay basahin ko sa inyo. Uh, it was He, the means the Spirit, who gave gifts to people. He appointed some to be apostles, others to be prophets, others to be evangelists, others to be pastors and teachers. Siya ang nagbibigay ng mga regalo sa mga tao. Inappoint niya yung iba bilang apostles, yung iba bilang prophets, yung iba missionaries. Tapos yung iba mga pastors at mga teachers. Romans 12, the same thing. Sa so, ganito rin tayo, kahit marami tayo, mga party tayo ng isang katawan ni Kristo. Connected tayo sa isa isa bilang mga part ng isang katawan. Binigyan ng Diyos ang bawat isa sa atin ng iba't ibang gift para gamitin. Kung pagpipreach, Ang gift natin, gawin natin ito ayon sa faith na meron tayo. Kung pagsiserve, ang gift natin, mag-serve tayo. Kung pagtuturo naman, magturo tayo. Kung gift naman ng pag-i-encourage, gawin natin ito. Kung mayroong gift tayo ng pagbibigay, ang isang tao magbigay siya ng buong puso. Kung pagiging leader naman ang gift, uh, gift niya, pagbutihin niya ito. Kung gift naman ng pagtulong sa iba, gawin niya ito ng masaya. And then a summary statement regarding all this gift in 1 Corinthians 12, 27 to 28. Now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. And God has appointed in the church first apostles, Second prophets, third teachers, then workers of miracles, then healers, helpers, administrators, speakers in various kinds of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work miracles? Do all possess gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? But earnestly desire the higher gift. From this text that we have looked at, we can make some summary statements about spiritual gifts. Ang pinakamahalagang gift ay ang proclamation of God's message. With one exception, all the New Testament list agree on this. The apostles and prophets are primarily vested with this responsibility of proclamation of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Ephesians 4, may bagong office na, uh, na mention that of the evangelist whose primary function is to proclaim God's message sa mga non-believers in order that they will be confronted with the claims of Jesus Christ pagkatapos ay mag-decide whether to accept or reject Jesus Christ as their Lord. 
Ngayon, tanongin ko sa inyo, when you say proclamation of the gospel, sino ang naisip ninyo? Sigurado ang mga pastor. One of the functions of pastors, in fact, one of the primary functions of pastors is the proclamation of the gospel. God's message, God's, God's good news. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay number one ang mga pastors, not in terms of prestige, not in terms of importance, but in terms of their function as proclaimers of the gospel, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sa aking pagtuturo sa mga pastor, madalas kong sabihin sa kanila ganito, don't take for granted your God-given function of proclaiming the gospel. Take this job seriously, for it is a matter of life and death to those who hear you. Pagkatapos, sinasabi ko naman sa mga members ng church, do everything possible in order that your pastor becomes the best preacher he can ever be. And one of the things you can do to encourage your pastors to be the best preachers they can ever be is what you're doing this Sunday. Designating this Sunday as a day na ma-appreciate ninyo ang inyong mga pastors. So the most important gift is Teaching. Anong pangalawa? It is teaching. In this category are included Sunday school teachers, small group leaders, and all others involved in making sure that members of the faith community are enabled to know what they believe. The Apostle Peter exhorts us, be ready at all times. To answer anyone who asks you uh, to explain the hope that is in you. This is addressed to all members of the faith community. Mahalagang mahalaga na alam natin ang tungkol sa ating pananampalataya. At dito talagang nakakatulong ang mga teachers. At sino sa atin ang mga number one teachers? Siyempre ang ating mga pastor. In fact, the best preachers are often the best teachers and vice versa. The best teachers are often the best preachers. As they preach, they teach. And as they teach, they preach. This only means that our pastors are involved in the first and second most important spiritual gift. Thank God for our teachers and thank God for our pastors who not only preach to us but also are our best teachers. Yung ikatlo is the category of helping others to mutulong sa kapwa. In the early church included in this category are those who are given the gift of healing. So in the letter of James, we are given instructions on how to pray for the sick. Of course, ngayon, may mga qualified doctors na na tumutulong sa atin sa ministeryong ito. In Paul's letter to the Romans, a special gift related to helping others is mentioned. That is the gift of generosity. In many parts of the New Testament, the rich are spoken of in negative terms. Parang yung mga mayayaman ay pupunta lahat sa impyerno. Because they are accused of unconcerned for people. Maraming mga parables ni Jesus tungkol sa mga unconcerned wealthy people. But when generosity now becomes a gift of the Spirit, then there is room for a new understanding of wealth. This is captured in Luke 16 by our Lord when He said, Make friends for yourselves with worldly wealth. Worldly wealth. 
Ay, yung, yung worldly words that translate the worldly words ay ang salitang mamun. Na you cannot serve God and mamun. Pero ngayon sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, make friends for yourselves with worldly words. Whoever is faithful in small matters will be faithful in large ones. If then you have not been faithful in handling worldly worth, mammon, who will entrust to you true worth? And then the Apostle Paul in, uh, in his second letter to the Corinthians said, God will provide you with what you need and more than what you need so that you will have enough for every good cause. And again, God will make you rich enough to be generous at all times. Itong third category ay especially para sa inyo, mga laiko. Isang invitation sa inyo to use your spiritual gift to the gospel to support your pastors and the whole program of the church. Yung fourth category has to do with administration. Again, pastors are involved in this activity. Many pastors are also administrators of churches. But it's, it's very important. It's not the number one gift, but also very important. Administration is primarily to enable the people of God to maximize the use of their resources in order to fulfill their mission as, God, as God's people in the world. And again, involved na involved ang mga pastor dito. Maraming mga pastor ay administrators din ng kanilang mga local churches. Finally, the fifth gift are special talents given to individuals, speaking in tongues, interpretation of dreams, and so on and so forth. Now, Kung gumagawa kayo ng listahan, calculation, ma-realize ninyo na involved ang mga pastor sa halos lahat ng mga spiritual gift. Sa pagsesermon, sa pagtuturo, helping others, administration. At the same time, mayroon din silang mga special talents and interests to enable them to continue to live balanced lives while being full-time in their work of, the, of ministry. And that's why we should ask, paano nating tunay na ma-appreciate ang ating mga pastors? In addition to praying for them, listening to them, being concerned of their needs, ano pa ang magagawa natin upang ipakita natin ang ating pagmamahal at pagmamalasakit? sa ating mga pastor. Kayo na ang sasagot sa tanong na ito. Ito lang ang masasabi ko sa inyo. For me, the best way for me to appreciate my pastors is to be faithful as possible to our Lord, to be useful as possible in our congregations, to use our spiritual gifts and uh, not only for ourselves, but for the whole church and to be as true as possible to our God and to ourselves. Or putting it another way, ganito, the best way we can show our appreciation to our pastors is to rededicate ourselves to Christ and His church. That rededication includes renewing our membership vows to be faithful to the Lord to be loyal to the church, and to be the best people we can be. That rededication is also in, uh, also includes praying for our pastors, being sensitive to their needs, being helpful in every way to them, with the awareness na ang anumang mabuting magagawa natin para sa ating mga pastor, ay ginagawa din natin para sa kabutihan ng ating iglesia, sa kabutihan din natin, at ang pinakamahalaga sa kabutihan din ng ating Lord. Sa Kanya ang buong karangalan at
Kaluwalatian. I greet the pastors among you and I say, God bless the pastors and God bless you all. Amen. Before we proceed in recognizing our beloved pastors, I would like to first lead our church in extending our gratitude to this morning's guest speaker. <clears throat> I'd like to read the Certificate of Appreciation. This Certificate of Appreciation is hereby presented to Dr. Daniel C. Arichea Jr., PBS Translations Consultant and Retired Bishop of UMC for delivering the Lord's message to ICA this Pastor's Appreciation Sunday 2020 with the theme honoring the man of God for his journey for the Lord reminding the church to always regard the pastors for the wonderful work they do and exhorting the under shepherds in their continuing service to Jesus the chief shepherd who has ordained them to faithfully nurture the flock all for the glory of God's name. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who publishes peace, who brings good news of happiness, who publishes salvations, who says to Zion, Your God reigns. Isaiah 52, 7. Given this October 11, 2020 at ICA Westgate Tower Madrigal Business Park, Alabang, Montenlupa City. Signed, Brother Remir C. Romualdo, Lead, pa Lead Pastors Appreciation Committee. Sister Catalina G. Albaro, Chairman, Church Council. And Reverend Jonathan S. Patadlas, Senior Pastor. We will be sending this appreciation this certificate of appreciation with a portrait of you, Bishop Archea, as a simple token of our thanks. Now, join me in honoring our dear pastors. This certificate of gratitude is hereby presented to the following ICA pastors whose names will be flashed on our screen. If I may read the text of the certificate, this is hereby given for his selfless dedication to preach the word as an official messenger, anointed as the Lord's willing under shepherd, always ready when the time is right and even when it is not, keeping his sense of urgency whether the opportunity seems favorable or unfavorable whether convenient or inconvenient, whether welcome or unwelcome, connecting, correcting any sinful behavior, exhorting and encouraging those who are growing towards spiritual maturity with inexhaustible patience and faithful teaching, not expecting to be rewarded, but to just humbly serve the chief shepherd with all his heart, soul, mind and strength for the glory of God's name and when the chief shepherds appear you will receive the unfading crown of glory 1 Peter 5 4 given this pastor's appreciation Sunday October 11 2020 in Montinlupa City signed brother C brother Remercy Romualdo lead pastor's appreciation committee and Sister Catalina G. Albaro, Chairman, Church Council. 
The office will also be sending this certificate with your portrait, a simple token of our gratitude to all of you. May I invite everyone to please extend our hands towards us, your screen, bow your heads, and join me in prayer. Lord, I join Ika as your church with praise and thanksgiving. Thank you for choosing our beloved pastors whom we are honoring this day through a virtual worship service to shepherd this church. We praise and thank you for helping them to walk in the counsel of the godly. May you continue to strengthen each of them so that they can lead us to our true living God. Graciously remove anything in their lives that may hinder them from faithfully carrying out and fulfilling the calling you have placed in their hearts and anointed to do for the pardonance of thy kingdom. May they hide under your wings all the days of their lives as our pastors, your under shepherds over us. We extend unto them our hands, bless them richly for the work they do in your church. In your precious name, Jesus Christ, our great shepherds and Lord. Amen. Happy Pastors Appreciation Sunday. Good morning, everyone. God bless us all. Praise be to God for the wonderful message. Thank you, Dr. Daniel Arichea, for inspiring us to honor the man of God in his journey for the Lord. I'd like to invite everyone to please join me in a special prayer for our beloved pastors. Let us bow our heads together and feel the presence of the Lord as he speaks to us. Most holy and gracious God, we thank you that we can enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise and acknowledge the powerful message we have heard to honor our pastors. This is such a wonderful day of celebration and we come together to thank you for our beloved pastors. Pastors, you have called to our church and our community. We pray that they will walk in the fullness of their calling with humility, gentleness, patience, diligence, and love to preserve peace and unity at all times. May they be equipped with your spiritual gifts and not be distracted nor discouraged, but have a solid confidence you will always be with them for every need they may have. May they be fueled with the joy of serving and be given an abundance of encouragement, love, and care from the congregation they spiritually feed. May they be faithful to their wife and family and enjoy care, rest, good health, and good sleep. May they be steadfast empowered to hold fast to your faithful word, always abounding in your will, helping them to know that their toil will never be in vain. This is our prayer, Abba Father, in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. In Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, God says, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. God speaks to us in Scripture. No matter how financially challenging our situation might be, He tells us, Test me in this. 
In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7, the Apostle Paul further encourages that each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Our giving to the Lord's Church is an expression of our obedience, our love, and our faith in Him. He generously provides for all that we need. Despite the pandemic and all the difficulties each one of us may be going through, His grace continues to pour upon us His Church. It is sufficient for the work He has appointed us to carry out through the pastors, the church leadership, and the ministries. We do this to continue God's work for the Father's greater glory. Let us faithfully give Him our tithes and our offerings. Thank you everyone for this beautiful and sincere honoring for us pastors. We are truly blessed. You all make serving the Lord a joy to all of us. Allow us now to bless you and please receive it with all your heart. The Lord, the Lord bless, bless you and, and you. keep you. The, the Lord, Lord make his face shine upon, upon you and, and be gracious, gracious to you. The, the Lord, Lord turn his face toward you and, and give you peace. peace. Amen. Amen and Amen. Amen.